The way I see soccer and the way I like to play, um, I think it's art. My first tattoo uh, says Jogo Bonito, which means play beautiful. And so I just try and replicate that with, with everything I do in the game. If you was to, to watch me, you'd see me play with a smile on my face, see me play with flair, play with freedom. Every time I go out there, I just want to make people watching happy and win, of course. But, you know, for me, the, the main thing and the reason why I play is to, to bring joy to people. It's your game. When you're on the field, you see things that no one else will see. Um, and you play off of instinct. So don't let people, you know, chuck you in a box and, and just be free and, and enjoy it. As long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. It was a, a party trick to my dad. You just throw me a ball and I just kick it straight back to him. Um, and it used to be something that he could, he would show off. And then eventually someone just said like, this isn't normal for a kid to be able to, to do this so young. It brought me and my dad quite close. Um, it allowed me to sort of, we had a, something in common. Um, he would take me to games, we'd watch games, play FIFA. And then, yeah, just every day playing um, before school, after school, during school. So it just became a common theme. The compromise that my sisters have had to make to allow me to keep pursuing the dream and the, the sacrifice and the, you know, the early mornings, the late nights that my mum and dad done taking me to and from. Um, being able to have it all come to an end and, and be great, that's definitely the, the motivation to keep going. I just transferred, I had big goals, big aspirations and you know my very first game. Um, to break my arm, go through surgery, um, sit and watch games. Um, yeah, it was a killer for me. Um, but it also, you know, at the same time, it was a, it, it motivated me to come back after that 2015 season and, and do what I know I can do. For me, it was a massive uh, push to, you know, seeing us lose loads of games. I wanted to come back and try and uh, help change the course. I came back with, a, I played with a club on for the whole season. But after I broke my arm, I came back. And that first game I scored from the halfway line, um, which was, I think, my best goal at USD. Um, but it was tough, but I think it, having that season allowed us to have these next few seasons and, and build our character. We've been in some high pressure games, high pressure moments. Um, and like I said, I've been able to step up in those moments. The last WCC game, there was so much pressure on that game and to get the assist so early on just helped take the weight off for the Warriors. We knew that we could do it, but we knew this time we had a target on our back of being that good team. Um, and for me personally, that made it more enjoyable. Um, you know, going out and beating teams that were coming to us to beat us. You know, no one saw us as a joke anymore. Um, that made the whole season more enjoyable and the games more challenging. And you know, having won last year, winning this year, you know, we're seeing you know, more and more people come to Torero Stadium. Um, come out and support us and watch us just made it 10 times better to do it in front of all those people. You know, I, I've become someone who, on the field, off the field, people can look to. Um, on, off the field, if they want advice, or, you know, being an older guy on the team. I know it sounds cliche, but we are a family. 
Um, we've had so many ups, so many downs, um, so many great experiences together. Um, that it's definitely going to be tough to, to leave these guys behind, but um, you know we're all chasing our dreams and, and doing what we can to, to get there. Oh, This has it been back to back at USD since 2000 and 1999. Super proud of what you guys have done. All right, just understand. <laughs> <laughs>